Welcome to the next web tutorial. In this session, I am going to show you how to configure Kickstart server to automate the installation of CentOS 7. By using Kickstart, we can able to install the operating system automatically for the clients without any user interface, which means we don't need to go for the client side for the installation of operating system for the clients. So what we are going to do here means we simply going to edit the configuration file for kickstart in that file we are going to mention what are the configurations required for the clients while installing the operating system then we are going to provide the kickstart configuration file to the clients by using ftp or http then our clients can be able to install the operating system by using this kickstart file and the centos 7 installation dvd now here I can see in your root directory there is a file called anaconda-ks.cfg Now open this file This is the kickstart configuration file It will be generated automatically after installing the CentOS 7 Here you can use the same configuration file for installing the operating system on your clients or else if you want to do some changes means you can change it here by editing this file or else we can able to create a new file for kickstart configuration we can manually edit this file to configure kickstart or else we can able to install a package called system-config-kickstart by using this package we can able to create a new kickstart file now close this file now run the following command to install the package m space install space system iphone config iphone kickstart space iphone y and hit enter now the package is installed now let's create the new kickstart configuration file now run the following command system iphone config iphone kickstart you can enter this command or else you can choose here applications system tools and kickstart now hit enter it will open the graphical tool to create new kickstart configuration file here this is the graphical tool by using this tool we can able to create the kickstart configuration now here choose your language and then keyboard and your time zone here I have chosen my time zone and if you want to use UTC clock you can click here now type your root password if you want to encrypt your password you can click here now click here if you want to reboot your system after the installation of operating system if you want to perform the installation in text mode means you can choose this option otherwise leave it now come to installation method here we are using the installation source as cd-rom so i choose cd-rom we can use nfs ftp or http to provide installation source for the clients in this case i am using cd so i choose cd-rom now choose bootloader options here choose install new bootloader if you want to set grub password means you can choose here and you can enter your password now i don't want set grub password now choose partition information here we are going to create the partitions now click here now choose the mount point slash boot and the size for the partition in mb I want a primary partition so choose here and click OK now create second partition now choose slash and here mention the size I am using only 20 GB hard disk for my clients so I choose 19 GB for slash file system now click here and click OK now choose network configuration here add the network device now type the network interface each zero in my case here 
I'm going to use DHCP server so my clients can be able to get IP address automatically from DHCP server or else if you want to set static IP means you can set it here and you need to type IP address subnet mask gateway and domain name server now I choose DHCP and I click OK rest of these options are for advanced cases just leave it for now now save the file click save and choose the directory the file will be saved in the name of ks.cfg and I click save now close it now type ls and hit enter here you can see the configuration file for kickstart this is the default configuration file and this is the new file that we have created early now open this file win space file name and hit enter now here we need to copy these lines now copy this here these lines are indicates what are the packages are going to be installed while installing the operating system and close the file now open this file in space k start cfg and hit enter now here come to the last line and paste the copied line here and then save the file next we need to configure the ftp server to provide this kickstart file for our clients now run the following command to install the package for ftp m space install space vsftpd space hyphen y here you can see now the package is installed now let's copy this kickstart configuration file to ftp path now type cp space ks.cfg space slash var slash ftp slash pop this is the default path for ftp now hit enter now the file is copied to ftp path next we need to add the ftp service in the firewall so type firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to ftp and hit enter and reload the firewall hyphen hyphen reload and hit enter next we need to start and enable the ftp service now type system ctl space start vsftpd now hit enter and enable the service system ctl enable vsftpd and hit enter now our clients can be able to access the configuration file via ftp now all thing is set for kickstart next we move to the client side and start the installation process via kickstart configuration file for that we need to boot up the client machine by using CentOS installation dvd here you can see now i have boot up my client machine with CentOS on installation dvd to start the installation by using kickstart configuration file we need to press tab here so now press tab button here we need to type ks equal to ftp colon double slash and ip address for the kickstart server 192.168.5.88 slash pub slash ks.cfg here we need to mention the ftp path for the kickstart configuration file now type it and hit enter now press enter to begin installation now it's booting here you can see now the installation is started automatically we don't need to configure anything here it will automatically install the operating system by using kickstart configuration file wait until the installation is complete
Now the installation is completed. After installing, it will be automatically rebooted. Now here I can see the fresh installation of Win 7. Now here, click next. Now create the user account and click next. Now click next. And click next. Now click start using CentOS. This is my client machine with fresh installation of CentOS 7. Now you have learned to install CentOS 7 automatically by using Kickstart. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.